actually, uh, Tony Khan spoke on another situation that was uh, highlighted in the news this week. I want to take this moment to salute and shout out to Nyla Rose uh, because she was the victim of just some stupid headline bullshit going on this week. And it was the uh, Oklahoma Sports Athletic Commission. They had sent a memo and a notice uh, to AEW, basically warning them uh, regarding having Nyla Rose uh, as a transgender performer on these wrestling shows, um, facing cisgender women, and basically saying that if this were, you know, to continue, or if this was something that they did in the future, they may be subject to punitive action. And I think that Whoa. was something that was just so ridiculous and outdated and just like old like what like what are we doing here like this is wrestling this isn't like boxing this ain't like you feel me like and, and like not to be like yo this shit fake but like my nigga like we not this ain't that you know what i'm saying and and like this is theater this is performance and then at the same time like transgender people should have the same exact rights as everybody else like i don't understand like this whole this whole antiquated way of thinking that you know the the sports commission is is on but um i don't know just salute the nyla way rose behind. It, bro. Way behind, nigga. like she been over there nigga. she's been over there since the jump nigga. and you just not figuring this out so if those were your rules you just not figuring this out that means that you that you dipping in the pot that wasn't belonging to you nigga. we ain't going to oklahoma anyway Motherfucker. Well, I don't know how many times they've been to Oklahoma. Like, this is we got to understand that this is still a, a young and grown and growing <laughs> company. And growing. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, as far as like the, their touring schedule, like that's been expanding as of late. So, I don't know how many times that they've been to Oklahoma for real, for real. <laughs> that Nyla Rose has been booked on the show. Um, but it seems as if this past uh, December, uh, I believe it was December twentieth uh, that they said it was uh, in the in the memo. Um, and the memo also stated that it was like some local wrestling organization that just had this happen to them, tipped them off, and was like, "Well, y'all let AEW do it. Why would you?" Know I mean? I'm like, bullshit, "That's some whole shit." Man. <laughs> that's that's like, some whole like, shit. yo, man, streets, you can't, man. you can't. It's like, wow, you can't even hold the line and be like, "Yo, man, that shit is fucked up." But you letting them do it? That's some like it's misplaced outrage, and you're like you trying to get everybody else in trouble because your shit couldn't work out. All right, man. First off, that shit shouldn't even be like, yo, man. It's tw it's twenty twenty four, and people are still doing this shit. Still talking about some. Oh, y'all can't have that. Y'all acting like these aren't people. These people don't have jobs. These people aren't entertaining millions of people every week. And you, it, it's just it's dumb. It's dumb. The only nigga I trust from Oklahoma is Jr. All right. I bet you wouldn't say any stupid shit. Does. You trust uh, Jake Hager? <clears throat> Absolutely not. Anybody that wears a green hat all the time, like no, no. it's purple. Oh, it's purple now. Absolutely, it was, no, it was purple it was the whole purple. time. You don't. You it don't was. Watch the show. Man, you color like, yeah, I, I don't watch him, nigga. Well, he's on TV. Oh, about to go give me something to drink. Uh, hey, I'm gonna keep it a bean time. pie with you. I, I wouldn't. I couldn't blame you if you missed that for little detail for real, for real. He wasn't never really on the show like that. And when he was on the show, he was in the background, like you feel me, behind six, seven other he's people. You know, they're like, what? Nobody really <laughs> tripping on Jake Hager like that. You be the elite. I was in the back. Right. Yo, facts. <laughs> But yo, y'all got like you know, like and like unless they can work something out with Oklahoma, you gotta stand up for your talent. You gotta say, like, look, we, we not going back to Oklahoma if you're doing yeah. this shit. He did do that uh uh to an oh, extent on, on the media call. He said that he was really disappointed um in the in the fact that they sent the media uh that, that memo over, excuse me. Uh he said that he was unaware of the situation, uh that that they felt that way or whatever, but like um he 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 was he he was non-committal. Because somebody did follow up and ask him, like, if they were to go back to Oklahoma, would he book Nyla Rose on the show and face whatever consequences that they told him about? And he said, we have a great touring team now and all things would be considered. Mm. And he didn't really answer the question. It was, it was a very non-committal nah. answer, but he did state that he was very disappointed uh, when it was initially asked in the request or in the memo coming over initially, it said that Nyla Rose was more than just, uh, just to, to be labeled as a transgender, but an amazing athlete, an amazing person, um, an amazing person for the community, uh, just, you know what I'm saying? As a role model, as an influence, as somebody 
that is just an overall, you know, good person to be around and just somebody that's extremely helpful and extremely talented in their field. That's what he was initially trying to get across. So I do commend him on that. And I understand yeah. that this is a, a, a growing situation, a continuous situation that could be addressed, could be squashed out with, you know, whatever bills or legislation that they have or whatever. But that type of shit takes time. And I don't really give a fuck about none of right. that for real, for real. So, like, I, I just think that that's an antiquated way of thinking and they need to move past that. Yeah, man. It's like, this is some shit that you would think. It's like, because everybody wants to talk about, oh, WWE, go to Saudi. They go to Saudi. Look what they got going on, going over here. This is some shit that you think would happen over there. But really, it's happening right in here. the United States right here backyard. where you fucking live. Facts. Where we fucking live. And ain't nobody doing nothing about it. Ain't nobody saying nothing about it. And not like, bro, this shouldn't need to be over. This shouldn't need to be over. I agree with you. I agree with you on that. Let's go ahead and.